Hello, I am Bearded Mike and welcome to the new Retro Show. So, we're doing a separate video or a new video where I talk about GOG. Now, most of my games, as I mentioned before, come from thrift shops, um, garage sales, mostly Valley Village, that kind of stuff. Mostly CD games, games that won't run on my modern computer, or if it does, I just want a physical copy of it. But there is some games that are so hard to find, but so easy to find on GOG. And what happens if I want to play them on my Franken build computer? And I thought, there must be a way. So I did find some uh, ways of doing it. One of them, there is a neat little video from, I think he's called Bill's Computer Lab, which I'll put a link below of how to do it. It's a program that unzips or unpackages the game without installing it, and you copy it over to your Windows 98 machine and run it from there. It's not as easy as that. Some games won't work. Some of them are missing DLLs, or the actual 3D files are made for a more modern computer rather than 95. With some workarounds, you can make it work. So, if uh, you have a new 98 machine, you're looking for some games, I don't want to spend too much money, go to G&G &G and I'll tell you how, so stay tuned. Alright, so let's, shall we begin? Shall we begin? Or whatever. Um, so, I got the games, I got the talent, no, I just got the games, not the talent. <laughs> So, of course, I made a folder of all the games I shall be playing on the GOV, GOG folder. Now, um, again, I'll put the link below if I haven't mentioned it. Where did I put you? Where did I put you? Where did I put you? So, these are the games I got working. So, I think. What's this one? Oh, that's one. I thought I said new. <laughs> that's the problem with this capture device is um, it's not the greatest capture device in the world. So I'm going to shrink my head. All right. So you can see the picture better. There. That's a little better. And it is dry in here, apparently. Ah, that feels better. So I got two mice right now. It's kind of funny. I got two mice, one for this guy and one for my actual PC. And uh, yeah, so these this is this is the game that I got working. I believe there was a DLL file missing, and I'll put a link below on uh, what the DLL file was. You do find it, and if you have tr guys, if you have problems finding it, let me know. I will put a link for the DLL file in the description. I, it was a little hard of me finding it. You sort of have to traverse these um, uh, websites, questionable websites, to find the DLL. But I did find it. So this guy takes a while to start, but it is running on Windows 98. I might have to speed this up. La 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 la. With the Valley Village again. <laughs> la la. And here we go. Running in Windows 98. This is from GOG. This is not a CD copy. This is a copy that I got from GOG. And I got it to run on Windows 98. Now, of course, this is made to run on Windows the latest version of Windows, so why would I do this? Just cause. And if you have a Windows 98 machine that you built, you want to try games on it, right? So, this is why. I guess you wouldn't be watching this video <laughs> if you weren't interested, right? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I guess I better bring my, my keyboard here. So I get to play. I'm going to go to new. Alright. 
We all know. Stand up. And here we go. There you go. You were dreaming. It's a little dark. What's your name? Hey, bud. Uh, I'm gonna call myself... I don't know. What was that name I found today? I found a license plate with a cool name. It was Z... Z something? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna keep him anyway. Or her. Probably him. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say... Blah, blah, blah. All right, let me see about I'm sure the some uh, options in here. Maybe bring up the gamma. Difficulty... Video... Effects module... I can't see. It's because this... 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 Um, video... Here we go. Gamma... Brightness? Is that brightness? You know what? I'll play with you later. I'll play with you later. Quiet. There's like comes stuff you can actually upgrade this uh, game sure to make it look more modern on modern me. PCs, but that's not the reason why we're here. All right. The mouse is a little. Oh, how can I say this? The mouse feels a little say. laggy. Again, I might be spoiled with my more modern PC, but this was totally playable right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to go out and see the water see how that looks like get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil right. as possible and there we go Here we go, here we are. Wow. It kind of looks like... Jello? Gray Jello, maybe? Down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our Hello. records don't show from where. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just gonna pick whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna have to keep them. Great, I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. Okay. I remember playing this game. You kind of steal everything like nobody's business. So, yeah, it's... It feels a little sluggish. Like I can still move around. Can I steal stuff? No, I can't. I can't steal anything. I, I don't exist right now. That's why. Uh, yes. I have to make We've my character. Anyway, you, you can tell you have to be it's not too bad. Um, there are a few ways we can do this. So and the I'm going to exit. You know, it's, it's overkill, really. Um, I looked at the minimum requirements for this thing before, and it's overkill with my Pentium D. But, hey, I'm, I got this from running on... Um, GOG and running here. So this game here is Nox. Nox was straightforward, ran that little command to unzip it, copy everything over, put it on here, and bada bing, bada boom. What's that? Something high. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> or are you executable? There we go. There's two of them. Let's pick one. Hopefully that's the right one. This runs perfectly. No issues. Uh, new. I love the sparkles. Sparkly! I'll pick a warrior. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not keeping him the same as before. I do believe I perceive the glint of a young fire knight in your eye. <laughs> Could be. La, if that la, be la, your path, la, then la, the way of the warrior. La, la. Find your way through these brooding mountains to the great subterranean. We have arrived, lad. And here we Dunmere, go. Dunmere, timeless fortress home of the warrior way. Training ground. Can I just... Yeah, there we go. I'm moving around. Looks great. We're in a t-shirt and jeans. And there's a story about it that 
I should play this game again. This is a really lot of fun. I had this a while ago. I can't remember if I bought it. Or I just played the demo. Anyway, yeah. So that's that's that. That's that's perfect. Exit. And quit. Yes. Alright, so that was Nox. Then there's the... T I got mostly RPGs, because that's... Uh, well, I like to play. No, let's cancel. 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 Uh, here it is. This is the application I need. Yep. I think these are the people... The actual developer is the same ones who did... Um, Vampire the Masquerade game. Bloodlines, I think. I think these are the same guys. Uh, new game. Normal. True neutral. Whatever. Uh, you. Add. You. Add. Add. I don't even know who I'm picking. No idea. Begin adventuring. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, everything works. Okay. Yeah. Everything's cool beans. Now, if you want to pick a game um, that is, I guess, if you know if it works on your Windows 90 machine, look at the actual comments. Maybe look at some form to see how hard it was to uh, to convert to uh, your modern system. Because the more work they've done to work on a modern system, the chances are it's not going to work. Um, I have played a whole bunch of games where it said I need this particular file. Is expecting a later version of Windows I thought it was a no-go but I worked on one of the games which I'll show you in a minute that I thought it was the same error but I just found like there was a patch out there that found the actual file that will work on Windows 98 machine and it worked fine well we're fine other than the performance issues it worked it actually loaded so I'll show you in a uh, quick game quick game so the last one I want to show you is Neverwinter Nights I worked on this. This is probably the game that I worked on the most to see if I can get it working. And I got it to work. Actually, I'm playing this on my modern machine because I really like this game. So that's why I want to make sure it worked. And the, uh, the method that I use, I just installed it on my modern machine, copy the entire directory, moved it over with USB and um, with some tweaking I did and a replacement of the, of the I think the uh, what was it called the blink 32 w.dll I think uh, that was a file I was complaining that it was expecting a modern system when I installed the patch the, the unofficial patch on the wiki it ran fine everything was cool everything runs so I'm gonna go play I think at first when I copied it over, it says something like, cannot find the version of Never Winter Nights, please reinstall, or something like that. I just ignored it, copied the file over, ran the patch, works beautifully. Of course I say that right now, new. Picking the campaign, uh, pre-made character. Play her, I don't care. Actually, you're actually the Windows uh, 98 machine is running a lot better than I thought. And here we go. Finally, you're up. I was afraid you were going to sleep all day. Hi, my name's Paul. All these games, 
again, right? Let's reiterate all these games I got from GOG. And I know I'm driving the fact in there. And this is probably the game that I worked the most. And, and I learned the most. So um, I guess the moral of the story is if you want a game to running on Windows 98, you might have to work on it. Like, for instance, I think I tried... Um, I wanted to run some... Uh, uh, first person shooters and I have a copy of System Shock 2 on GOG and I couldn't get it to run and you know what it, I probably if I got it more if I actually worked on it a little bit more I probably would have got it to run but that's probably another video maybe I'll do an FPG, FP, uh, FPS version and see what I can get it run I thought it'd be easy like just copy the files and you're done right nope not always Anyway, this is a list of games, my, my apologies, this is a list of games that will run from GOG, some little bit of tweaking, run on your Windows 98 machine. Why would you do it? Why not? To talk to you. And also, if you want that nostalgia feel of running a Windows 98 machine, you want to throw some games in there, here you go. There's some hope. Anyway, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback will be appreciated. Until the next video, this is Bearded Mike, signing off.